Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing a video that will show you how to record professional video on an iPhone. Let's get started. Alright guys, for this we're going to be using an application called Filmic Pro. Now this is an application available on the App Store for your iPhone, and this really increases the manual capability of your iPhone. The iPhone's built-in camera is very good, however using the standard application can lack lots of features such as setting uh, manual exposure, white balance, flash brightness, things like that. This application really opens you to these settings and really allows you to create more professional footage straight from your iPhone. Let's take a look at the application. Okay guys, as you can see I currently have the application running on my iPhone. Uh, this is what it should look like right out of the box straight from when you downloaded it from the App Store. As you can see we have a fairly simple scene here. I basically pointed my phone at my desk. Uh, however, this is a good scene to use for this video because there are many different uh, light intensity levels. As you can see from the bright computer screens to the dark TV and the sunlight coming in from the, uh, from the window. This will really help me demonstrate some of the features uh, that where this application really shines here. Uh, but before we do all that, I first just want to go over the, uh, the layout and the interface of the application. As you can see, there are a fair load of buttons on the screen, so we're going to quickly uh, go over what every button does here. So starting off in the bottom left corner, we have uh, options to lock things like focus, exposure, white balance, and flash. On the right of that, we uh, have a button to access your film roll. Film roll. Uh, this is where your recorded footage will be saved, and from here you can directly upload to YouTube or Facebook or export it to your camera roll, and from there import it to your computer, and if you so wish to edit in Final Cut if you really want to. And on the right of that we have another button for settings which we will go into of course. And moving further along to the right we have your battery stat and actually also a hard drive stat which is very useful uh, as this will give you an idea of how much space is available on your phone as when using more high quality settings as we'll get into later this app can really take up a lot of space on your phone and it is of course important to have a lot of free space if you really are recording a project on your iPhone uh, using this application. We also have a time code and histogram. And moving all the way on to the right, we have your record button, and along the side here we have a few uh, manual buttons which will allow you to set presets, uh, which we'll get into as well, and you can quickly access those from there, and on the top the plus and minus is for zoom. And uh, the little views button, the little eye on the top right there, is basically to access different uh, interface views. This is my favorite, there are three, we'll get into those later as well. And finally, on the top left, we have an information button, uh, which can bring you to uh, things like frequently asked questions, etc. And of course, we have a microphone uh, level meter below that as well. So as you guys can see, we have a lot of access here to manual... Uh, manual capabilities here, which is really where this application shines compared to say the standard Apple camera application, right? You will not be able to control any of these things manually. But of course, one of the things that you may find different here, in the center of the screen we have two things. Now we have one that looks very similar, uh, familiar if you're used to the Apple application, which is this one here, which is used for manual focus. You can drag this around the screen and choose to focus on a specific object. This right here is to focus your aperture on a specific subject as well. So let's say we want to focus on this computer screen. Simply drag it over and it will automatically adjust the aperture and white balance to uh, focus on that screen. And we can do the exact same thing if we say we want to focus on the curtain, the dark TV, the desk, anything like that. And this already is a very useful feature. And one of the nicest things about this here, if we go ahead and start recording, you can see that even while recording, you can manually change this. And this is a really, really nice feature of the application. Now let's go over some of the different views that I was talking about later uh, earlier here. Accessing this button here on the top right can actually uh, change the interface of the entire application here uh, depending on the situation that you're in. So as you can see currently here we're on the main interface and uh, tapping this here will actually uh, highlight some of the settings as well and tapping it again will bring you to a different menu here. Now this is a menu that's a little bit easier I think to access when you're maybe outside in bright light filming as the buttons are more highlighted and a little bit separated from the viewer here. However, if you're like me right now and you're inside, it's better to keep it in this view as of course you have a greater viewer uh, of what exactly is uh, recording. Now the next thing I'd like to show uh, will be a little bit hard to see in this video and that is basically manual control over the flash here. This can be found on the bottom right here or bottom left. As you can see, the flash is currently activated. This may be a little bit hard to see in the particular uh, scene that I'm filming in. But from here you can actually adjust it to lower and rise the brightness of the flash. And this is again a very useful feature. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the uh, settings here in this application because there are a lot of them. Now I'm not going to go over every one of them but just give you a rough idea of all the things you can do with this app. Right at the back here we have lots of settings here that you were not familiar with seeing on uh, you know of course with your regular application here or the regular iPhone app here. So as you can see we have uh, options for frame rate all the way from 24 which is cinema standard up to 120. Uh, and of course 30 which is more you know internet standard here and of course these are the presets that I was talking about you can have up to six as you can see so you can basically change these settings to whatever you like and create a preset and access three of those simply from the viewer uh, on the application as I mentioned before here uh, from here we have all kinds of effects uh, options here resolution frame rate as you can see 24 frames is what I have it which is cinema standard and this again will add a more cinematic look to your film 
I'm not gonna go into all these options like I said but as you can see there is a ton to play with here a lot of options and a lot of capability with this application therefore I think it is really worth the small price tag considering all the extra options that it brings to your phone all right guys thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully this application will help you record more professional looking film on your iPhone thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video if you guys want to check out some more of my videos I'll have some more listed on the right of the video thanks for watching